In the long annals of the Roman Catholic Church, there have been many saints and martyrs. From the myriads of these celestial stars shine 36 that have been designated as being exemplars of learning, in Latin, doctus. Since these 36 saints are beacons of light in the darkness of this world, for truly understanding what it means to be a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, they have been designated as doctors of the church. Saint John of the Cross was born in Fontaveros, Spain, around 1542. He died in 1591. He was a poet and a mystic. At the time of Saint John of the Cross, the Carmelites had become very worldly and were in need of returning to a stricter rule of life. With Saint Teresa of Jesus of Avila, together they founded the Reformed Carmelites, Order of Carmelites Discalced, OCD. Discalced meaning without shoes. Because of his reforms, John suffered imprisonment by his fellow unreformed Carmelites of the observance. Eventually escaping, he and Teresa of Avila, who had similar problems with the female Carmelites, founded the Order of Carmelites Discalced. John authored many books, including The Ascent of Mount Carmel, The Dark Night of the Soul, The Spiritual Canticle, and O Flame of Living Love. He is known as the Mystical Doctor. Discalced Carmelites today number about 4,000 religious. Such persons expend all their effort in seeking spiritual pleasure and consolation. They never tire, therefore, of reading books, and they begin now one meditation, now another, in their pursuit of this pleasure which they desire to experience in the things of God. But God very justly, wisely, and lovingly denies it to them, for otherwise this spiritual gluttony and inordinate appetite would breed innumerable evils. It is therefore very fitting that they should enter into the dark night, wherefore we shall speak that they may be purged from this childishness. St. John of the Cross, Dark Night of the Soul The soul that is attached to anything, however much good there may be in it, will not arrive at the liberty of divine union. For whether it be a strong wire rope or a slender and delicate thread that holds the bird, it matters not. If it really holds it fast, for until the cord be broken, the bird cannot fly. St. John of the Cross died 1591. The road is narrow. He who wishes to travel it more easily must cast off all things and use the cross as his cane. In other words, he must be truly resolved to suffer willingly for the love of God in all things. St. John of the Cross died 1591.